Hey everyone, it's Charlotte from the Kia Hyundai channel and today we are not doing a live video but it is a pre-recorded and guys I'm so excited to show you the 2024 Kia Sorento X line. Now this vehicle it is a true middle trim and I want to show you guys how impressive this vehicle is and that it really has everything that you need and a little bit more. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into the styling of this vehicle, let's talk about the MSRP. And keep in mind, this is a true middle trim. So the MSRP for this vehicle is going to be $47,975. There we go, <laughs> you got it there. But let's talk about some of the styling. Now, like I said, this is the X-Line, which means we're going to see the first uh, little tidbits of the X-Line exterior package. So what does that mean? Is that this vehicle is designed to be a little bit more rugged. So as you can see, we have some beautiful bridge type roof racks that are of course completely functional. We're also gonna have a lot more black accents. Now this vehicle is featured in ebony black, so it's gonna be harder to see a little bit of those uh, little details, but you can see we have a little bit more of a rugged design when it comes to some of the accents. We've got some black accents on our skid plates around our wheel uh, wells as well and for our wheels we have beautiful blacked out 20 inch alloys with continental tires and again this is only going to be on those X line ish vehicles but let's talk about some of the safety features that we have coming around to the front so as you can see for our headlights we actually have full LED headlights and also on the rear we're gonna have LED combinations so you can see again Kia is integrating their new design language for this vehicle and I'm super excited because I love these headlights, I love this design, and we get to see them on the K4 too. When it comes to our Kia logo, it is a nice low profile, low set logo and a nice satin chrome finish. And again, more rugged exterior looks for our grille, black accents with a gun metal, almost kind of a matte finish um, around the grille and down on the bottom too. Now, it doesn't just look good, it also has great safety features. So let's talk about some of those. As you can see, we have these small ultrasonic parking sensors, and I'm super happy to say that these are on the front and on the rear. So if you are approaching something, the vehicle is going to pick it up, whether it be a wall, uh, a pedestrian, another vehicle, something along those lines, it will beep and give you an audible warning inside the vehicle. It'll also show you on which, uh, where the sensor is, or where the item is coming from, from the sensors, Whew, there we go, <laughs> which is really cool. And we'll be able to show that inside the vehicle too. Now, just below your, plate bracket, we have this little rectangle here, and no, it's not just for design, it is functional as well. So this vehicle, it is equipped with forward collision avoidance assist, it's also equipped with smart cruise control, lane follow assist, and highway drive assist. Now I know those are going to be a lot of big words, but pretty much what that means is we've got some cool tech in this vehicle that is way more than just your entry level basic safety features. For your rear cross, uh, for, or for your forward collision avoidance assist, man that never gets easier to say, essentially if the vehicle detects that there's going to be a risk of a collision, what it'll do is it'll give you an audible alert on the inside of the vehicle and if needed it will apply braking force to help mitigate a collision coming from the front. Highway drive assist is basically your smart cruise control but even smarter and if you're curious to see what that is and how it works and in action, don't worry, we've done a video on it of course. But with that being said, let's come around to the side of the vehicle, we'll take a look at the beautiful side profile and some more of our safety features. For your mirrors, they are tinted. You also have blind spot monitoring on this vehicle. So if you indicate a turn and there's someone in your blind spot, the vehicle is going to beep for you, letting you know that there is someone there. And this icon here will also be illuminated. So we love to see that. This vehicle it also is a push to start and we have keyless entry, which means we have a proximity key. And all you have to do is tap this button. It will unlock and lock the vehicle for you. Again, we can see a beautiful pro side profile of this vehicle. We can see those ladder roof racks. We can see our wheels, our rugged skid plates, and it looks great. Now let's take a look at the cargo space and what we have going on in the rear end. So I will bring this down and you can see we do of course have a power lift tailgate. So that is a great feature to have. And also you can see our nice LEDs for the rear. And up top, we also have a third mounted brake light. And underneath, there's a little bit of a surprise. We actually have our rear wiper blade and it's hidden underneath here to help protect it from the elements. I also think it cleans up the back design and it looks absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> now down, of course, we're still gonna have our rear view camera. So that is nothing changed. We've got again, some X-Line badging, which is different, rear bumper, and more of those ultrasonic parking sensors. Let's talk cargo space because I feel like that is a pretty hot topic when it comes to the Sorento. Now, pretty much only on the LX are you able to get the seven seat configuration. Anything the EX and above, including the X-Line, you're gonna have six seats with the captain's chairs. Now, that sometimes leaves you with a little bit uh, less cargo space. 
So if you are utilizing all of the seats in this vehicle, here's what your cargo space is going to look like. You don't have a ton of room, if I'm being completely honest. Still enough to put your groceries in, everything like that. But it is nice that you still have underneath here, which is going to have your tire kit or your spare tire kit. Now, if you're wondering where the tire is, don't worry, it's located underneath the vehicle. But your jack and everything there is still there. Now, if by any chance you are utilizing only five seats in this vehicle, you can easily knock these down. And there is Velcro to actually keep the tether in place. There's also seat belt clips. So when they're not in use, these can be clipped out of the way to help with ease of cargo. Now let's take a look at what it looks like with only four seats and these ones down. So here's a little bit more realistic of your cargo space. So if you're only using this vehicle for four seats primarily and you want cargo space, this is going to be a great pick. But if you, are ha if you do have a larger family or typically fre or frequently have more passengers, you may want to look at something different. Maybe you don't have a Sportage, and if you're curious about the comparison there, don't worry, we've done a video on it. <laughs> now, some of the other features that we are going to have back here is we do have the capacity to knock down our second row seats from the touch of a button. And look at how easy that is. Now, these seats, they will fold almost flat. It's just because the two uh, front seats are back a fair bit, so they're knocking them slightly. Back here, we also have a 12 volt, which we can see we've got a 12 volt. We also have USB-Cs for the rear passengers, cup holders, and nice convenience pockets. So no matter where you're sitting, there are gonna be some really great tech and convenience features, even if you are back in the third row. Now let's take a look inside at what this vehicle has to offer. All right, let's take a look inside. And I wanna share with you guys how impressed I actually was when I was driving this vehicle. I took it to the car wash and I got in this vehicle and let me tell you, for it being a rugged exterior vehicle, the inside, it's nice. It's so luxurious. I was shocked that I was like, oh my goodness, this is a mid-tier trim and it looks like this, this is beautiful. So let me show you what I mean at such of the beautiful key elements that we have. So we've got some incredible, nice wood accents here. It's a gray, it plays really nice off with some of the black. We have some soft touch leather here too, and also quilted leather on the sides. Doesn't that look so cool? What a beautiful detail to have. Now we also have nice flush door handles. It's a little bit dirty, don't mind that. It's fine. <laughs> and then of course, you're also gonna have your mirror controls which are electronically controlled. And then of course, your windows too with an express obstacle detecting window for the driver. Down at the bottom, still convenience pockets, everything along those lines. And for our seating, we have our regular six-way power adjustable seat with the inclusion of two-way lumbar support, giving us a grand total of eight ways to adjust the seat. Now, something I love about the Sorento is that for this year, you actually get a power driver's seat starting on the LX. So you're getting, again, that really nice feature on an entry-level model. But this vehicle, of course, takes it a little bit step further, giving you some of those more nice, luxurious features. On this side, I'll just show you here. We do have our brightness adjuster, also your control for your tailgate, and if you'd like to disable traction control. For your steering wheel, I am happy to say that it is leather wrapped. It's also fully heated. And starting on the X line is going to be the inclusion of paddle shifters. So if you want to drop a gear and disappear, you can definitely do so in this vehicle, which is really fun considering we've got a 2.5 liter turbo engine in this vehicle with an eight speed DCT transmission. If you're unfamiliar with what DCT is, that stands for dual clutch. So you know it's going to be a lot of fun. And I absolutely love driving this vehicle. This powertrain is a ton of fun. And I think that anyone driving it is really going to enjoy the experience. Behind it, of course, I'm gonna have my controls for lights, also windshield wipers, everything along those lines. And let's take a look at this screen behind me. So in the center, I have a 4.2 inch TF TFT LCD screen, and then I have a digital instrument, or a digital, digital speedometer, there we go, and digital tachometer. And this new simplified graphics is a part of the new software in this vehicle, the CCNC, which we'll take a look at in a second. I'll have my cameraman come around to the side and we'll keep talking about this vehicle. So let's take a little bit more of an in-depth look here for the steering wheel. So I already mentioned the steering wheel itself. We have our new Kia logo. And then over here on the side is going to be more of your uh, convenience features or like your virtual assistant, also different media modes, volume, toggles, favorites, decline a call. And over on this side is going to be your driving features. So you're gonna have elements like your smart cruise control or highway drive assist, as I mentioned on the exterior, lane keep assist and also lane follow assist. And this is going to make driving on the highway a true breeze. Check out our video on it if you wanna learn a little bit more. But something that I always love is showing off this feature and what this button does. So this is going to control that 4.2 inch screen, as I mentioned, and I love that it'll give you directions. This vehicle does have integrated navigation 
And also we can cycle through the different areas that we have here. So you do have TPMS sensors in this vehicle and also the drive power distribution. Now this is an all wheel drive vehicle and it's going to be pre predominantly operating in front wheel drive uh, to, to help with the fuel economy. But I love this screen because number one is as you turn the wheel, it'll show you which ways the tires are facing too. And also it'll show you when you are getting a little bit of that power coming in from the rear and when you're, you're operating in the front. So that's great to use for your daily drive if you want to know where you're using a little bit more power. Also your vehicle at, uh, I like to refer to this as an at a glance specs for your vehicle as to how you're driving. And then also your safety features too, your guessometer for your fuel range at the top. And then also you can see that we do have auto hold equipped or auto hold equipped. We're also going to have temperature and the mileage on here. Now over on this side, let's take a look at our screen because this is really going to be the star of the show. Like I said, we are operating with the new CCNC software and wow, it's beautiful. It's incredibly responsive. As I drop down, you can see that I can get all of my at a glance. I can control volume for navigation and also it is customizable. So if there are items that I do want or don't want here, I can add them or take them away and look at how responsive it is. It really is just like using your phone. Now I must say what is going to be the star of this is the ability that we have the capacity for wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, despite the fact that this is a 12.3 inch screen. Isn't that awesome? We're finally getting to see that. Oh, vehicle just turned off. We're running in accessory mode. Now, a lot of these other key elements are going to be great when you do have Kia Connect hooked up, which again, Kia Connect does start on the LX, which is great, the entry level. And then of course you do have your map and navigation across the dash. I'm just going to show you here. We're keeping consistent with that nice wood trim and also look at how seamlessly these vents play into the other design lines and into again, the vents at the side. Now new on the Sorento for 2024 is the switchable infotainment uh, climate controller. And we first saw this on the Sportage in 2023, then on the EV6 II. And this is nice because it gives you all of your features and it does give you a little bit of feedback too as you hit them. So from here, you can still access your front and rear defrost, auto climate, recirculated air. And then here you can see I've got all of my media controls. If you press here, then you can actually see that you have your climate controls. And I'm happy to say that this vehicle does have a dual zone climate control, meaning I can set my climate to one. My passenger can set theirs to something different. And also you have climate controls for the rear too. Now for comfort features down below, you can see we have a USB-C for connectivity or for charging. We also have a USB-C here for your passenger and also a wireless phone charger. For your driver and passenger, you have heated seats. You also have a heated steering wheel, as I mentioned, and you have a leather topped gear shift, cup holders, and also the inclusion of your different drive modes. Let me turn the vehicle back on into accessory mode, and you can see we've got normal, eco, sport, and smart. Now, each of these are going to change the way that the vehicle drives. Normal, of course, a normal config configuration. Eco is more so designed to give you the optimized fuel economy. Sport, a little bit of that sportier response with your 2.5 liter turbo. So it's gonna tighten up the suspension, tighten up the steering, give you a little bit more aggressive throttle input. And smart mode is again designed to take pretty much how you're driving and optimize it for your better fuel economy too. For our terrain modes, we have snow, mud, and sand. And if the vehicle is in any of these and detects a little bit extra wheel spin, the, it's going to kick in, give you a little bit more power depending on the inclement situation that you may have gotten yourself into. Two levels of heat for your heated serum, which is awesome. We also have auto hold, which if you have not seen our video on auto hold, check it out. Your parking sensors, idle stop and go, which some people love, some people hate. Again, we've done a video on it. And your parking sensor with your electronic parking brake in the rear. Now here is what I mentioned uh, for your rear view camera. You do have dynamic guidelines too. So as you're turning the wheel in reverse, these di guidelines are going to shift. Now over here is something interesting because as I mentioned, we have our parking sensors. So up here and down at the rear, uh, if it does detect something, it's going to give you an alert either depending on where the sensor is on the vehicle. Now for your camera, you're also gonna have a couple different options. You can affectionately uh, use your hitch camera. So if you are towing with this vehicle and want to line it up, you certainly can do so. And then you can also get a wide view, which really takes up this whole screen. I think that is so, so cool. Now up top, something that we do get that starts on the X line is going to be this beautiful panoramic sunroof. And I will open it up for you guys. That way you can take a look. And look at how big this thing is. 
and of course it extends pretty much the full width of that cover it's only going to open about halfway and the nice thing too i'll put my camera up is you do have a bug net so if you want to open it but are worried about some critters getting in you can do so hi <laughs> like I said, you do have Kia Connect in this vehicle too, so you've got your quick controls here for emergency services or roadside assistance. And for lighting, we've got LED interior lights. We'll come down, take another look over how everything looks. Down here, you're still going to have cup holders, a little spot for your key. And also, here is going to be your center console. You've got tons of space in there. It's almost deceptive. And you also have this area up here for some of your smaller items. I'll show the key because the key is going to be redesigned for this year. It is your slim profile, but bigger key fob. This is actually the biggest key fob Kia has done. So lock, unlock, power tailgate, panic, and also remote start. So you have that in this vehicle too. So that's really gonna cover our interior of this vehicle. Let's take a look at what the space has to offer in the back seat. All right, now that we have covered the cabin area, let's take a look at the back seat and the third row and all of the comfort and convenience features that it has to offer. So let's start off with the door. We'll talk about some key elements that are on here, such as your child lock. It is manual. Also, again, we're keeping consistent. We're having that nice soft touch leather, also quilted with those flush door handles. Now for the X line, we do have heated seats for your captain's chairs in the second row. And again, still cup holders and convenience pockets down below. Now I'll show you what we have down at the bottom. You can see we've got Sorrento on our door, door sills and we also have this step here to help easily access the third row. Now I'll show you guys how easy it is to access the third row. Up top on these captain's chairs there is a little button and all you have to do is press on that button and it's automatically going to bring the seat forward and drop it down. That way you can simply put your foot on here and hop into the third row, very, very easy. But before I show back there, let's talk about the space that we actually have in the second row. So I'm gonna push this seat back and it is manual controls. So there's a lever, I can grab that, slide it back and also I can adjust the level of recline, of course, with the uh, lever. So I'm gonna hop in and here's a little bit about what the headroom and the legroom looks like. Now, even though you do have a sunroof and you're going to lose a little bit of headroom on the vertical, you still have tons of space in this vehicle. And again, because it is captain's chairs, you're getting even more space that is kind of usable too. Now, this is an all wheel drive vehicle. So what that means is generally we are going to have a slight hump with the drive shaft running down the, ve running down the vehicle. Now, that is really going to be present as you're accessing into the third row, as you can see from right here. It creates a step, but having the step there as you're stepping into the third row actually gives you a little bit more leg room here in the second row. So you can see that I'm super comfortable, tons of space, and I also have some great convenience features. I've got dual USB-Cs for fast charging. I also have a rear air vents, which can be locked or unlocked. And I also have a 12 volt down below. Now also for privacy and for stretch, I've got a leather privacy cover. Also, if I have something bigger and want to put it, I've got these neck covers and I also have them right here. Now let's go and take a look at what the back seat has to offer. So you can see it's easy for me to slide through and I'll have my cameraman kind of show some of the space that I have. Now, again, because I do have the hump back here, I do have a little bit less leg room here in the third row, but this is, it's not really going to be a true third row SUV like how you'd see in the Telluride of the Palisade. This is really truly a bonus row, but despite that, I still have a fair a bit of headroom. I think it's almost surprising, um, and it might be a little bit hard to tell on camera just because of the color of the headliner. I still am, uh, I still do have some, you know, a fair bit of knee room, fair bit of leg room too, and I like that I have those convenience features like the USB-Cs and cup holders still back here. Now, if I do want to come through, I've got to make sure that these, of course, aren't down. We do have armrests that are adjustable. And then again, if I want to get out of the third row, it's nice and easy. I can even do it from back here to simply come out and exit the vehicle. So before we end up end off this video, I know I told you guys what the powertrain is, but this way I can actually show you how the engine bay is configured. And here you can take a look at your 2.5 liter turbo GDI engine, four cylinder. And also you have a eight speed wet type DCT powering this bad boy. That's gonna give you 281 for your horsepower and you're gonna have 311 pound feet of torque.
All right, everyone, well, that is going to wrap up our walkthrough, our interior and exterior review of the 2024 Sorrento X-Line. I hope that you guys found this helpful and are impressed with all of the tech and the advanced tech and safety features that are in this true mid-trim vehicle. I certainly think that it exceeds the value that it may be priced at dollar-wise. If you guys are new to the Kia Hyundai channel, we post videos every single day throughout the week. So please subscribe and like this video and leave a comment down below knowing what video you want to see next and what vehicle we should review next. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.